Good damn morning. Jericho Green here with you once again. And friends, big dangers are all around us these days. To survive what's coming, you need to be prepared and self-reliant. That's why I recommend getting yourself some cryptocurrency, some land, some gold, but especially a proper stockpile of emergency food. It's easier than you think. Go to preparewithjericho.com right now and you'll save $50 and get free shipping on a generous four-week supply of emergency food from My Patriot Supply. They're the largest preparedness company in America and they serve millions of people who are prepared for what's coming. This food stays fresh for up to 25 years. It will be there when you need it. Do yourself a favor, go to preparewithjericho.com. You'll save $50 and get free shipping on a four-week emergency food kit, which gives you breakfast, lunch, dinners, drinks, and snacks, totaling over 2,000 calories a day. When things get ugly, you'll be glad you have this food kit. Don't get caught unprepared. Go to preparewithjericho.com right now, preparewithjericho.com. So, oh, and make sure... Catch me on Recoil TV, Rumble, Spotify, promo code 1984 for 20% off all green gear. Just go to that link tree in the description box. Clickety clack. So like many other things, you know, when you watch a movie and every time you watch it, you catch something different or you focus on something more. So the more and more I watch the Will Smith uh, debacle at the Oscars as you watch Will Smith Fuck his career up. This is the pinnacle. This is the zenith of your career. And you took a shit all over it. So the more you watch the footage, you, you focus on different things. So, and it turns out, Chris Rock didn't know that Jada Pinkett had alopecia. Now, again, alopecia is terrible, especially for women. Your hair falls out. But it's painless and it's not life-threatening. It's not like she had cancer and she was bald from chemo. Now, are you free to say whatever you want? Yes, but people are also free to react the way they want. And had she been suffering from a, a, a serious illness like cancer and she had lost her hair due to radiation treatment, yeah, Chris Rock, that would have been very fucked up and you would not have my support. But that's not what happened. It turns out all the people in Hollywood are not following each other on Twitter. I knew not, I didn't know Jada Pinkett um, had alopecia until this shit happened. So there's a very real possibility that Chris Rock wasn't tapped into her Twitter feed, and he didn't know. And you can tell in the in the broadcast right after he says it was a GI Jane joke. Like, why are you acting like that over a joke? Really, an easy joke. She's bald headed, so is G.I. Jane. That joke wrote itself. And who knows? Maybe he didn't even write that joke. He probably saw her, and that was some freestyle shit. That's how good he is. He had no idea she had alopecia. And even if he did, there's no reason to react like that. Now, I think it, I think it would have been much more productive, and it wouldn't have taken the focus off of him winning an Oscar had during the, the commercial break, maybe he, hey, Chris Rock, can you get Chris Rock over here? Or where is it? Let me let me go talk to him. Hey, man, she has alopecia. That shit, you know, cut kind of deep. And he'd be like, oh, man, I didn't know. My bad. But he probably would have apologized. Either way, it wouldn't have overshadowed your big moment, you jackass. But you are a big old lady. You're a six foot two woman. And you allowed your woman, who has a firm grip on your testicles, Despite all the shit she's done to you, despite all your personal business she's put out there, despite her bringing you on her show and neutering you in front of whoever was watching, despite all that, she still has a firm grip on your actions. Because if you look at it, he was laughing. And not only was he laughing, he was laughing for a few seconds. Like, ha ha ha, that shit was funny. Now, maybe you're just a... Uh, uh, a superficial laugh, like, you know, oh, yeah, I got it. You know, I'm not going to get pissed about it. Let me just laugh and move on. Even if that's what it was, that fool was laughing for like three to five seconds. She wasn't. So for anybody thinking, oh, well, maybe uh, it was like, oh, 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 shit. No, she never laughed. She heard the joke. She didn't think it was funny. He thought it was it was funny. He was laughing. And then you look at your woman and then you go up there and do that. If that shit was that offensive, 
He wouldn't have waited for his wife to look. He wouldn't have waited for her response. He would have been up. If that shit was really offensive and he really felt that it was that fucked up that he needed to go up there and act like a jackass, his wife would have been stopping him, not sending him up there. And what kind of woman do you have that would send you off to do some stupid shit like that? And how weak are you to do it? You'd have, I'd have to have a talk with my wife later. I'm not, I'm not doing that. That is so stupid. And again, she wasn't suffering from something life-threatening. It's alopecia. Chris Rock didn't even know. You can hear it in his voice. Like, dude, it was a G.I. Jane joke, man. What the fuck is your problem? And another reason I think it was real. Now, the slap itself, he, he, really, uh, he really hit him. But I think Will Smith, I think we might have witnessed the first time Will Smith has ever gotten to a physical altercation. You know, despite the theme song to the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I think this was his first foyer into pugil, uh, pugilism. Fist to cuffs. Because his stance, his hands were down. It was all bad. He's never approached a man to fight before. Or never been approached. And I was thinking maybe the lights, you know, the, the lights are bright up there. Obviously, Chris Rock didn't think that Will Smith was going to come up there and put his fucking hands on him. But under, you know, normal, out in public or something, yeah, if you see a man walking towards you like that, it's time to get in the defensive position. Get a good base at your feet. Get your hands up. Get ready to protect your money maker. That's just that's just being a man. You you know what you know what that aggressive posture looks like. Uh oh, it's about to go down. But again, in that setting and everything, Chris Rock, the farthest thing in his mind that Will Smith was going to slap him. But I tell you what, I tell you, I tell you what, I hope Chris Rock did do because they said he left. Right after the incident, I hope the first thing he did was call his lawyer. That's what I hope he did. The, the, the lawyer, you know, he got money. We get the lawyer with the three names on the side. Bernstein, Meyer, and Greenblatt, right? He got those guys. He got a team. I hope he called his lawyer. And here's a question, and I assume the answer is yes, but let me know in the comment section, anybody, uh, you know, who knows of the law, or maybe you're in law enforcement, can't the police pursue charges against Will Smith and arrest him without Chris Rock being that it was taped? Because I don't think you need you you have to have the victim's consent to press charges in all cases. What if they film you, you're caught on videotape robbing a place, but the owners are like, no, nah, we don't want to press charges. Do, do, does law enforcement, do the police still have an obligation or do they have the option? To pursue charges anyway because you did break the law. You cannot go up and strike somebody in their face for no reason. We are civilized. We're not beasts. So I want to know that. Let me know in the comment section. But another thing that sold it for me was Will Smith's reaction when he sat down. And the more I watch that, the more embarrassed and pissed that I get. It had to be somebody who was below the midpoint on the color chart. It had to be somebody who was darker than a sheet of office paper to pull this shit. Had to be. The 94th Oscars. That means before this, they had 93 of these fucking things and nobody was slapping anybody. Even go back to what's the girl's name, the woman's name from Hattie Mae or something. She won the Oscar for uh, Gone with the Wind. That was way back in what, the 30s? But of course, had to be had to be one of us to pull this bullshit. And it wasn't even justified. You're just an over-emotional eunuch. Jada keeps your balls up high on top of the fridge where you can't even reach them. Right next to the cookies she won't let you have before dinner. And I can see why Will Smith thought that. Jada Pinkett always has her hair short. Go back to her movie roles in the 90s. She always has her hair short. She's always looking like Jean A. That's a, that's a deep cut right there. <laughs> Jean A. <laughs> but the way he sat there and said, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. But he was serious when he said that. And how ghetto. 
Man, hold yourself together. And if you're going to say something, man, you're at the Oscars. You're wearing a tuxedo. Act like it. Shouldn't you have a monocle on or something? Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. This ain't a rap video. That's some class. You shouldn't have said anything. But that was your, and the room was silent. <laughs> like my dad would say, you can hear a rat piss on cotton. How'd they get all those, all those Hollywood people to shut the fuck up? That room was silent. But that was just a disgrace. And yeah, I think it was real. I think Will Smith is just that bad at throwing a slap. Like I said yesterday in that video, why a slap? If you're going to do it, do it. If you're going to go up there and strike a dude in his face, punch him. Render him unconscious. Especially a little dude like Chris Rock. Was he 140 pounds? Soaking wet with rocks in his pocket? Big old Will Smith, Mr. I Am Legend, and you slap him? <laughs> oh, Will Smith, you're an idiot. That shows how ill-prepared you were to do that. I mean, his hand was down. It was all like this. You, oh, man, he ain't never thrown a damn punch in his life. Maybe on a movie set, but that's it. If he <laughs> the only fight he's ever been in is, is on a set. Is where somebody goes like this. Action. That's the only time he's ever thrown a punch. Evidenced by the fact that he couldn't even throw. The fact that he threw a slap. What are you doing? He probably knew if he hit, hit him, he wouldn't even have knocked him out. That's why he threw the slap. He's like, man, I'm not even going to embarrass myself like that. He probably hit him on the face and, and, and hurt your hand before you hurt his face. But what an asshole, man. You just fucked the whole night up for everybody. The Williams family, everybody in attendance, and you know, everybody. I don't care what color they were. I don't care what sex they were. I don't care where they were on the actor scale, where they were an A-lister or whatever. You know, as soon as everybody got in their car, their limo, their phantom, whatever they took there, you know, as soon as they got in that car and closed the door, in whatever language they spoke, they looked at the person in the car with them and said, what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, shit. They couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. Is this for real? And then couple that with uh, with Will Smith's bad mechanics. I was like, man, is this, was this stage? No way. It's not like they need, he's up there for an Oscar, Chris Rock. He's still selling out stadium. They don't need the publicity. So I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> I was like, what is this? And then come to find out it was real and what it was for? Garbage. And then he has this bullshit apology. Violence of any kind is unacceptable. When did you become so introspective in such a short amount of time? 24 hours ago, you were flying off the handle. Now you're a fucking Dalai Lama? Now you're Namaste? That apology had copy and paste written all over it. His publicist was like, don't worry about it, Will. I got it. Boom, drag and drop. Da -da 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 -da. Take that name out. Will, Will Smith. Boom, send. That was some corporate cookie cutter apology bullshit. You shouldn't even have apologized. You don't mean it. You don't mean that shit. Why do you even... Violence of any kind is unacceptable. And then it wasn't even just for Chris Rock. Then you start naming the Academy and all these other people. So you weren't apologizing to Chris Rock. I hope Chris Rock sues the shit out of you. How many people were watching that? Why wasn't Will Smith arrested immediately? Why didn't some uniform officers come and remove him from his seat? Because I tell you what. R.I.P. to my man Dane, this guy I used to work with. You know what I'm saying? I tell you what, he's from Arkansas. I tell you, like I say, man, like I say. I'll tell you a story he told me about being in Arkansas in the mid-50s when they first integrated the schools and they had this black kid uh, join their basketball team. Oh, that shit is too funny. Like I say, man, like I say, I tell you what. But I tell you what, um, let's say Will Smith was... I don't know, a white actor, and he went up there and struck the face. 
of a black person? You put your hands on his visage? Are you kidding me? If a white actor went up there and slapped a black man, which shouldn't make a difference, but you know, in their crazy ass woke bullshit world, it would. Oh my goodness. Take his Oscar, take his family, take his life. You had the nerve to go up there and put your hands on a Fabergé egg of ethnicities? Shh, bring the lights down. Quiet, turn your phones off. It's a black person. They can't take all that. Shh, shh, shh. quiet, careful. Come on now. <laughs> Everybody, every blue check mark would turn on that fool. Our dumbass president would be making a comment about it. It would be the worst thing to happen on this planet. But since it wasn't, nobody gives a shit. <laughs> oh, man. Will Smith, you just took your career and your Oscar and flushed it down the toilet. What a jackass. <laughs> but you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit lefty cries. Utilize the Linktree link. Get your ass over to JerichoGreen.net. I am Jericho Green. <laughs> Man, I'm out.